Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Oh, shit. You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. To help find a boat, it's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. I'm gonna kill you for jump. that shit, kid. What? No way! You son of a! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here, and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. No, Kenny's taken the death of his family pretty well. I'm surprised. I just hold it. Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can. Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee.
Ben, you piece of shit. I just shot him in the head. I shot that one in the fucking head. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Yeah, how about we, uh... Do that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Shit. Every day's a school day. Oh, I'm out of drinks. So, where's the dog? Something was buried here. We need a shovel. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be. No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No, they didn't. It's Falcas. <laughs> nice. We were too fast for him. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. By that house? Alright, I'll check that house. It's safer when we're inside the house. Ben. Yeah. Fucking dead to me, buddy. I'm gonna shoot you. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? 
Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again, it won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. I'm gonna kill you, kid. I'm gonna fucking kill ya. Oh look, there's a shovel. I'll take that, thank you very much. The shovel is never not useful. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Whatever it is, it's been here a while. Ew, I can smell it from here. Gross! Clementine, honey, come sit with me and Omid. Let Lee work. Oh, God, the smell. That is not cool. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? C can we take the shovel? been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Mm. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, what do you see in there? Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. Come on, Gimpy. So who dies this episode, I wonder? someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street. And we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. 
least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Anything useful? All empty. Nothing. Water's off. No power. But there is power. The door was just powered. The doggy tour was just powered, now you say no power. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. Clear in here. Nothing hiding in here. Just one more to check. Stay frosty. Stay frosty. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. Did I just finish checking the house? This chair showed me another door, but I don't know what the door is. Got much. We 
should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What just a friend. What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. How is he looking at? Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Kind of looks like duck. Sorry, kiddo. I have no. Wait, what is this? Here. No. This will make it clean and quick. What are you doing? I thought you said you were going to take care of it. I'm sorry, man. I, I don't know that I can. I don't no, I'll do it. I can either. I'll do it. I didn't know what it was. It's okay. I'll take care of it. I don't know this kid. <clears throat> I got no problem putting a bullet in his head. No sense in wasting the bullets, Please you know what I mean? Him. I'll take care of it. Stick him in with the dog.
<laughs> Are we really gonna stick him out with the dog? That's funny. Alright, I guess so. You don't even get your own burial plot, kid. You get buried with the dog. It's a little fucked up. Buried with the dog. Yeah, the, the head came off the dog. Standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No. Fast. <laughs> Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just. I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move you. <laughs> you better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only check the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more said I'm done with this house! We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place, grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to the watch The choices are hard sometimes. Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yeah, I am. 
No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? What am I, a liability? <clears throat> yeah, you are. Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. And there ain't nothing left in that car. <coughs> they even took the doors. What are you going to do with the doors? right up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? Whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Kenny. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're. All oh, the boats are gone. Also kind of an asshole. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Exactly a welcome banner. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. An abandoned newsstand. It 
It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Not caught attention. I don't want to shoot him, but I guess. National Guard does that. I can't remember what they stand for, but one's like rescued, dead, and how many are left behind? Something like that. I remember. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? I don't know, we're just gonna avoid it, not talk Fate about it. Worse than death. Down. 
Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? We didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us. If he is, we can put an end to it. Right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Mind if I get up? Slowly. Way to watch my back, Kenny. Better sneak right up behind me. beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, Anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Do you know who 
who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That was pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. Say we'll lay down. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just wait. Isn't that the... the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey! You're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here! Please! Make it fast! Can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Shit. Well, this should be good. About to get Resident Evil up in this bitch. Hey Sig, how are you? Good to see yes. How's that on the ground?
it's a drainage pipe. turn anymore in that direction. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm, seems loose. But take it. <clears throat> I know, didn't it? That's a lot of zombies. Oh, oh he didn't make Chuck. it. You must have tried to hide out down here. Poor Chuck. Poor Chuck. Uh, yeah, we picked him up on the train, remember, Sig? Oh, you weren't here. Never mind. Those bars are way too solid. No way I could pick that up on my own. I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with this.
I guess the city didn't want to fix the hole in the series, so they put up a sign. All that shelter. Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Ooh. Goodies. Goodies. <laughs> Wonder if someone's living down here. That would be Union work, right? Uh, I need something to drink. I'll be right back. All right. It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? It don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. Came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. I just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Yeah, <coughs> I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Thank you, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right under their feet? Damn it. Kick from the server. Oops. You were moved. I got kicked from the server. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. You can still hear him. I'm a Is history it? Professor. I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so that perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. 
This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. I think I just got this old guy killed. Clementine? Clem? this he didn't tell you about me I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river who's the fossil this is Vernon he's a doctor he helped me get back here after we got separated I think you have something that belongs to me So many new people are joining City Life server that need interviews. It's good. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. It's just a flesh wound. Oh, me, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Yeah, there's Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Uh, sales pretty good. But where is she? <clears throat> I put in like eight hours today, seven and a half, something like that. I'll have time to rest later. It's right, you will. You better get to work, buddy. Clementine, you here?
That was pretty fun. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Angel, are you there? I am. Angel, what are, are you? What are the odds you really want to help me out? <clears throat> What's your issue? I I lost my Teamspeak identity, and I just need my my citizen badge and my uh, citizen and orientation badge back. I had to reinstall Teamspeak, and I would appreciate that. I'll talk to you in my Russian accent then, if you want. Uh, link me your profile. Clem? Link, link you what? Your pro profile. Link me your player profile and the forms. All right, give me a second. Oh, Come out, please. Uh, home, I think. <sighs> Instead of nerd boy in my profile, click on that. <clears throat> Instead of going into the waiting for help <throat> channel, all right, all right, they drop down into other games channel to ask for fucking help. I oh, hate I that. I don't have permissions to send channel chat messages. Let me send me a PM, and I should be able to reply to it. Can't you put it in other games? The the channel. Yeah, I tried that. That's what it gave me permission. That you don't have permissions to send channel chat messages. If you PM me, it will let me reply to you though. So PM oh me first. Oh my god. There you go. There you go. I am the one that talks like this and is very bad at it. You always want to chop people's limbs off. You just joined the mod? I joined the mod about last week, Monday, yes. Uh, interview log. It's Nerd Boy. All right, you're all set. Can I have orientation as well, or do I not need that anymore? I think I still probably need that. Uh, has anybody talked to you about the mod? Have what? Has anybody talked to you about the mod? Oh, it's yeah, I've been in game been. before. But has oh, an admin um, pulled you aside and just asked you how your week experience has been? Um, no. Okay. <clears throat> all right, you're good to go. You are awesome, Angel. You are an angel, Angel. I do my best. What What are you playing right now? I'm just curious. Uh, The Walking Dead. You're You're Oh, you're, you're watching The Walking Dead? No, I'm playing The Walking Dead. There's a game, The Walking Dead? Yes. Awesome. I'm in that room. Okay. Huh, cool. All right. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. No problem. I owe you. Have a good night. You too. Uh, I I need chatty. Where's ch Why can't I get to? There we go. There we go. Ah, <clears throat> uh, that it just annoys me. Like, go to the right channel. Uh -uh doing something. Don't disturb me because you don't want to wait for help. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. 
Think you've had enough? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No oh, way. the video locked up? We got walkers oh, no. all around us. Oh, it started again? Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, my PC locked up, I think. Uh, okay, PC's back. It looks like video is back. Okay, video still running? Window is minimized. That's no, not. What is going on? <clears throat> okay, video is back. But it is extremely laggy. I think it's laggy anyway. Ah, uh, is video laggy or is it okay? It is laggy. Got it. Okay, I think that should be good. Oh, and it locked up. All right, let's try. Copy this. Let's go. <clears throat> Sorry, um, we're getting there. Hold on. We'll add name capture. All right, now we should be good. Here's some game. Crazy fuck on Sorry. The radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink. <clears throat> yes, you could. Uh, you could just ask yourself if you have any questions. I got time to deal with you. I'm looking for a little girl. Seen her? Doesn't look like she's in here. Doesn't look like she's in here. Have either of you seen Clementine? Yeah, he's still with us. Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. 
I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Clementine? Clementine! Push. I wasn't paying attention, what just happened? They locked her in the shed. Whoa. I know, right? Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? We should go back out on the street, see what we can find. That's not gonna work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, <laughs> right? what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. Does the all need to work? With a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. 
They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I know the sewer system. You got a map? <laughs> I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid. <laughs> Let's try to have me on camp. Something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah. It's gonna be dangerous, but it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh oh. Say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? Bring her along. She's going to protect herself. Okay. You can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay. I'm going to go get ready. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Holly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, no, we cut Ben loose. Make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of Who the hell is this? 
This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one. Over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this. <laughs> no shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. That man's dead. The city fell. The city fell. I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. Shut up, you Ben. Do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? You're a piece of shit. I'm leaving you behind. Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about you. Sort out a group. We left Clementine for dead. Hey, 
here. Kick in the door. Let a locked door Looks stop like you, Jesus. Some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. about me what can I do I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center I'm putting you in charge of it okay you're leaving me with Ben I'm not leaving you with Ben I'm leaving him with you understand oh okay back before you know it to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? I've already been fired. They're worthless. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. Isn't that what she just said? Oh, I saw that. I saw that.
climbing the fence isn't an option. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. That must be down this way. Yeah, but it's locked. All right, what am I missing? Nice to see you. Molly? <laughs> Molly! What? I think you got it. One more! <laughs> He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Here they come. Here they come. Hold up. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Can we just take the truck? Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. I 
can't reach it up there. No power. These people get just... Oh look, locked door. Our plan is fucked. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Looks like Crawford had their own semi trucks. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Pull the goddamn battery. Try to hold him off. Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. It's off. The negative terminal's still screwed on. Well, take it off, asshole. Does she like, seriously just pick up a 210 pound man like okay, there's nothing? Now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Chicken. Oh, well, did you mention it? Do it. Oh, I missed. Oh, that hurt. I missed. <sighs> I missed. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? No. Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. You Wait, got the battery. You got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Apparently over strong. Logan. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Can't open it without the combination. 
I was gonna go look for the combination. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Why don't you try putting your boot to it? Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Ben, I'm leaving you behind, just so you know. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? What has she done for me lately? No, wait. She saved like, a, like an hour ago. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If yeah, it I is. If I screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. That is fucking nuts. Time when he's ready to hear it, but it's not now, not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. <laughs> I hear you. Fuck's that supposed to mean? Piece of shit. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. One seventy one three, maybe. You 
okay, Clown? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just nope. like the way they were before? Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah. I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Hopscotch. Locked. Lock. Not talking to you. Shit. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Hey, Krista. Yeah? 
Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been there's an option. the past couple of days. You've been throwing up. Oh, come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. I've got things to do. Yeah. Same here. Already cleaned out. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you mm. gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We Shh, gotta keep looking. Sh sh I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him, see what he's got on him. Oh, I gotta go out by there. I gotta pee before we walk out there. I'll be right back.
Yes. Damn the urination station. Wait, wasn't the auto? The other place was this way, wasn't it? Thought I made a left of those lockers. I guess not. Like the TV was there. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. I'm eating pizza right now, guys, and it's absolutely delicious. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. What's up, Reef Daddy? To survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? There's She's nothing. pregnant. That was just hard to watch. <clears throat> She's pregnant. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. 
We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. Take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn mm. child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Talk I picked up the wrong tape. You please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. How she stabbed him, and then sounds like she killed a dozen people on her way out. All right, I want the left one. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. I thought there were three tapes. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right, so where's the third tape? Oh, I have the third tape. Duh. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. I still take her over Ben. Ben's a piece of shit. Christ. Oh, you scared the 
shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's Apparently. up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen a 14 year old diabetic before they came and took my sister away. Can't you control it? <laughs> like, food at that point. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. spooked by those bells and then I heard someone coming what the fuck are you doing out here Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory he sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open I found this uh Ben where did you get that I just found it it was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there oh no <laughs> shit you fucking asshole this is why I'm leaving you behind Ben and why she's coming with us Nice group you got here. 
Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, I know you're upset. I understand. But you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. We're all in this together. We're a group. Sure, take a vote. This is America. Fuck it. But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, And you put that at risk. <clears throat> Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. And that means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go with no. You don't get a say, lady. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. I found a way out. Flooded with zombies. It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. No! No! They're coming. Fuck them up time and time. Oh. He was the old man on the radio. Come on, let's go. you 
Just let him go. Just let him go. We're not taking him anyway. Bye-bye, kiddo. That was a little deep. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Hold on. Is he... dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. She'll be okay. I know it's tough on her now, but she'll understand. I did what I had to. She will understand, right? She's gonna have to if she's gonna make it in this world the way it is now. No easy decisions anymore. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. You want to talk about old man? Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. It was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours... Putting everyone on a boat with no destination. Do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course. Take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. He's got a point. 
But then again, if that's how the world is, you gotta protect your own. It's better she grows up learning that than get killed because she wants to save the wrong people. Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. It sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Bye, Molly. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. I don't think I can leave Clementine. <clears throat> She's the one thing that's kept me grounded this entire time. I know, right? The only, the hey, one he's person working. I really wanted to stay. He's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clementine, this may be hard to understand right now, but sometimes for the good of everyone, we have to make tough choices. Ben was putting us all in danger in Crawford, so I made a decision, and I left him behind. I know that sounds bad, but I had to think about the whole group, not just one person. But I'm just one person. Not to me, you're not. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? 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 Clementine! Oh, God. Yeah. 
What? No. No. Oh, I got bit. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee, where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I don't know what to do here. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. Lee, we're a team. That's how we've made it this far. We're not going to just abandon you. Even now? Especially now. You've earned that much. Damn straight. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. I should have checked. Would that have saved the bite? Can I start it over? You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what I, I gotta do the entire episode, though. I've been at it for like an hour. I don't know if I want to. They cleaned out all the food. They're not here anymore. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Son of a bitch! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully.
oh, it must be a fixed point because did you reveal the bite? But yeah, it was a fixed point. Oh, I think one more episode. I'm pretty much into it now. Thank you, Sig. You have a good night, too. I will, um, I will upload the next episode to YouTube tonight. So, you have something to watch while you're at work tomorrow. 